So I've been volunteering with the point in time count here in Seattle and King County for about 10 years now. So there are over 12,000 people who are living unhoused or homeless or unsheltered in Seattle. One quarter is living in vehicles. The main challenges are really about parking. We gotta park somewhere, you know. Oh, the squeeze is on. They're putting more two to five signs up, no parking two to five, and it's, that's geared towards RV people. When these signs were put in, uh, they effectively banished the community of people who were living on these streets. Because there's no place for people to park, they face rampant tickets, fear of impound, warnings, and community complaints in general. I move it whenever I have to, three days, whenever I get that orange sticker. It's kind of a cat and mouse game. Many people who are living in their vehicles don't consider themselves homeless. They might, might not actually reach out for homeless assistance. So this is where we have this problem. The people who are living on the streets of Seattle can be effectively blocked from the emergency services system. You don't have to worry about something like that. Most people don't, but people on the street do, you know. Mm -hmm. So we are in one of the few safe parking lots that's in the Puget Sound, a church in Kirkland, Washington. This is a safe parking program that offers restrooms, kitchens, and uh, hygiene facilities for people who are sleeping in their cars. It provides a space for stability and where people can connect with case managers and social workers to help to further stabilize. This is an excellent example of what needs to be provided. I was in six months in the back seat of my car for wow. six months. This place is a blessing. This is for women and families. Like, I do not know what I would do without this place. It scares me to even think what I would do because where does a person go? If we look at this through a lens of how do we fix the broken person, we're never going to fix this issue. We can affect the environment. We can't force the person to make another choice, but we can optimize new choices that are more beneficial. My hope is that the city includes vehicle residency in its emergency shelter care system. It's that simple. I mean, the reality is, is that over half the people who are living on the streets are not part of that system right now, right? What we're talking about is including all people in our services that are designed to end homelessness.